Okay, so raise your hand if you sang that when you were in religious school. Anyone? That's like a 19, I feel like that's a 1975 original. Ooh. What do you think, Cantor Flaxman? It's coming out of the very first songbook, so I'm gonna go with, yeah, that sounds about Yeah, right. 19, I don't know what year. Whoever can research that and let us know. It is 2.45. Is the cameras on? Oh, the red light is on. Do you know what that means? <laughs> what does that mean, Cantor Corio? It means the service for the new year has officially drum roll, please, Katie. which means we need to welcome one another. And then we'll get a greeting from our senior rabbi. Okay, ready? Pop-up choir. No, and don't, you know your real name is the pop-up choir. Don't listen to what anyone else says, okay? Here we go, you guys ready for the pop-up choir of 2024, 57, 85? If you are, let me hear you scream. Here they are. With their Hine Matsuf, live from Temple Bethon. Bring all your joy. show anyone missed the pre-show no you were all here oh you a few okay can we do a just one round of app just one more round you want to show us the moves oh because people we're may have missed spell. it at the pre-show somebody might know how to make these letters better than me but okay, okay. let's see here let's see here. all right one more time here we go give, give me an a p p give me an a p p give me an a p p 
Into the honey, dippity dippity do. A dip in the apples, into the honey, dippity dippity do. Everyone get really quiet. Thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New Year. What an honor. Of all the things I've gotten to do in my life and in my career, to, to stand next to the pop-up choir. What a, what a great honor. Uh, or, uh, or as I affectionately call them, the popcorn choir. Uh, so the Popcorn Choir is doing a great job bringing us in to the new year. We're very excited. 5784 was kind of a tough year, but we're ready for a great year. 5785, so we're going to thank God for this new year with our blessing of Shehechianu. Baruch You know, a lot of the prayers that we do on Rosh Hashanah uh, and on Shabbat are the same prayers that we do every single day. And part of that, as you know, is the first thing we're supposed to do when we wake up in the morning is to thank God for another day. And today we're thanking God for another year. So we're going to offer now in our, our preliminary blessings, our first blessings, our prayers of thanks and gratitude.
I'm going to ask um, our sound team if there's a way to get a little bit more volume with the choir mics, please. I don't know where they are, but that'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I need Rabbi Eklepi, Cantor Flaxman, you guys, uh, can you get on the floor? So we're going to do, oh, we tried this last year. It went great. So I think you're going to be up for the challenge this year. We are going to do a Rosh Hashanah wave to get us ready for our call to prayer. You ready to try it, everyone? Okay. Fla Cantor Flaxman has this side. Cantor Koyo, Rabbi Eklepi, Rabbi Greengrass, and Rabbi Barris is going to chill out with the popcorn pop-up choir. I can't believe now I'm calling them the popcorn choir. Oh, my gosh. All right, we ready. Cantor Flaxman, you got them? All right. This side is starting. We want to see, like, some good energy, some good Shana Tova energy. All right, we can get some, um, no, 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 we just need, like, some, just, we need some vamp music. Okay, ready? Exciting vamp music. Ready, Cantor? Oh, I'm ready. Let's it's do it. Wait, wait, more important than am I ready? Is my section ready? I think we're pretty ready. Okay. Take him away. All right. Are we going to be doing a wave? Yep. One, two, three. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Wow. All right. Yep. Let's start again. Over with Rabbi Greengrass. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. My section was not that good. People stayed in their seats. So we're gonna do it one more time. I wanna see you, if you have a kid in your arms, like seriously, like put them in the air or something. Show me those muscles. All right, let's do it again. A one, two, three, go. Oh yeah. Okay, this side now, this side, we can get a little bit better. All right, I see the pin chucks back there. They got it, they got it. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we are ready. Please rise for real this time. Let's tell God we want to pray. We are going to stay standing wherever we are. Everyone, take your hands, make the letter shin, and let's cover our eyes with the sound of shh as we sing Shema. Shema Yisrael.
Now standing exactly where we are, each of our clergy members is gonna tell us how on this Rosh Hashanah we are gonna celebrate our freedom, okay? We have four clergy members and four ways to celebrate freedom. Cantor Flaxman, the newest member, how can we do it? We can blow the shofar, number one thing for Ooh, Rosh Hashanah. Let's try it, everyone. I think I, I'm a little hungry, so I'm ready to dip some apples and honey. Ooh, apples and honey, let's show. How are we gonna dip the apples and honey? We can give our family members a big hug. Ooh, how do we show that? How do we show a big hug to our family? And last but not least, Rabbi Barris. We can sing and dance. Yes. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right, let's do it. We're going to the sea. We're celebrating our freedom with Micha Mocha. Yeah, let's rock and roll this. It's the new year. Let me see you guys swimming at the sea. I'm standing at the sea. Mi ha mocha, standing at the sea. Mi standing at the sea. Mi ha mocha, freedom's on our way. Blow the shofar, blowing the shofar. Mi ha mocha, I'm blowing the shofar. Mi ha mocha, I'm blowing the shofar. Mi ha mocha, freedom's on our way. Hands in the air, everybody. Sanctuary. On Rosh Hashanah, our individual families come together as one giant, big Jewish family. And we remember those first families. We remember Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, 
Jacob and Leah and Rachel. We call those ancestors our Avot. The stories of our Avot are written in that ark in the Torah. They tell us how to make good choices, how to avoid bad choices, and how we should be choosing how to do right and not wrong. Now, I want you to imagine that there is a special book that's just about you. This one book, it has written in it all the good things you do and all the bad things you do. Shh, we call this the Sefer HaChaim, the book of life. And so we are going to ask God right now to write us for blessing and for life in the book of life. Zochreinu. We have a few moments now of silent prayer. Ooh. What is something that you're going to be praying for this new year? I always love when we have this time in our service where I get to say whatever I want to say. Ooh. I really, I have so many things I want to say thank you for, God. So many things I want to say thank you for. How about you, Cantor? I want to send as much peace to any family who has any crying or sadness in their house right now, I want to send peace to them. And of course, to our brothers and sisters in Israel. Amen. You know what? I need to say slicha too to a lot of people. I need to say sorry. So I'm going to think about those things. So let's take a few moments now to say thank you, to pray for peace, to say sorry. And then we'll all join our voices together. For Osei Shalom. On the count of three, we're going to let out all of our prayers of peace with a big shh. You ready? One, two, three.
Wow. You guys are amazing leaders. Thank you so much. So we are going to move into a very special prayer that all of the adults sing also, which is called Avinu Malkenu. Avinu is our parent. So we think of God as a parent who loves us, who's there for us, who helped to create us. And we think of God as Malkenu, a king or a queen, somebody who gives us rules, who tells us how to live. So God is super close to us, but also giving us rules on how to live. So we call God Avinu Malkenu. Um, and as we sing it, it sounds a little bit like, I'm sorry for what I did wrong. Oh, that sounds exactly oh. what it's like. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take all the microphones I can get down here. Yep. My older pop-up choir friends spent a lot of time learning this Avinu Malkenu to present for you. So here we have our older pop-up choir team members. Are you guys ready? We're gonna pass some microphones around. Okay, but let's stand up one more time. I know, but we're gonna open the ark. This is when we feel really close to God. Here we go. the best Alvina Malkano I've ever heard. That was beautiful. Better than Barbara Streisand. Gudges. I, would say. Gudges. I think I think God might have heard our cries. What do you guys think? So we're gonna ask our pop-up choir friends to go sit with your families for a story, but then you're gonna come up for the closing songs. So don't go anywhere. You may be seated. a story for us. Let's see. Let's see if we can count to shalosh. Echad. You did arba before. You did echad, shtayim, shalosh, arba. Echad, shtayim, shalosh. Well, once upon a time, there was a little apple tree, and it was standing in a forest with great, big, tall oak trees. And every night, when the little apple tree looked up, it seemed as if there were millions and millions of stars dangling off the leaves of the oak trees. <sighs> Said the little tiny apple tree, please God, can't I have stars like the oak tree? And God said to the little apple tree, but apple tree, 
you have the most fragrant, the softest, the pinkest, the whitest, the most beautiful blossoms. And when people walk by, they smell how delicious your fruit's going to be. Yeah, but I really wish I had stars too. Well, the apple tree started to grow bigger and bigger, but still, it looked up in the sky and saw all the stars seemed as if they were dangling off the oak tree leaves. Please, God, said now the slightly bigger apple tree. Can't I have stars too? Look how beautiful they are. Well, apple tree, you know what you have? You have apples and they are sweet and they are crunchy and they are delicious. And we say a blessing before we eat them on Rosh Hashanah and we dip them in honey. I mean, you have got it all. You have apples. Oh, well, I wish I had a stars too. And the apple tree shook its branches and as it shook its branches, kerplop, an apple fell on the ground. And the apple split open all by itself. And when the apple tree looked at the apple, the apple tree saw a star inside the apple. God said to that little apple tree, you see, you always had a beautiful star inside of you. You always had wonderful things to give the blossoms, the apples, and you too have a star. May this new year, all of us have bright, shiny stars on the inside that we can share with everybody we love. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Wow, that was beautiful. Uh, I think we do all have stars inside. So before we come back up, everybody find the adult that they brought with them. Everybody find the adult they brought with them. So. We have this very, very special moment, a, ver a very holy moment, where we get to bless our children, bless our grandchildren, bless the people we love in our lives. And we just get to say, thank you. Thank you for being my kid. Thank you for being my grandkid. Thank you for being my adult. Um, so if you can, please put your hands on your child's head. I see we're going to see. We have some chains here. <laughs> Repeat after me. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God keep you. In the shelter. In the shelter. Of this everlasting. bring us closer to you. Amen. 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 On this day, inscribe us for a good and peaceful year in the book of life, and let us all say, Amen. Amen. Okay, seal that with a hug and a kiss. All right. Now is the moment that I've been waiting for. Ooh. And maybe you too. 
Is there a special oh, yes. noise that we're supposed to make on Rosh Hashanah? Wow. That's pretty good. So, some of you can talk in shofar. Oh, you actually have one. Okay. Are you ready to hear the shofar calling us to a new year? We are ready. All right. Well, let's all stand up for the blessing and hear the sounds of the shofar. Tikia. Shivari. Terua. Tikia. Tikia Gidola. Oh my gosh. If you are in the pop-up choir, come on back up so we can sing about the shofar. Guys, we yeah. need a fast tempo for this one. You oh, ready? Yeah. I am so impressed. I almost passed out. <laughs> everyone a very happy and sweet new year if you'd like to join us at coral reef park at five o'clock we'll be doing tashli throwing the bread to cast away our sins and after our final song as you exit the sanctuary we have a gift for each and every one of you i know it drives the parents crazy but that's part of being a, a jewish parent is putting up with the sounds of the shofar so we want to wish everyone a very happy and sweet new year. 
Let's kick it off with our closing song. If you want to come back for TOT services, they're tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Shana Tova, turn to your neighbor and wish them a happy and sweet new year.